The Central New York Boat Show is once again not happening this year, and with boat sales surging amid the pandemic, the boating industry says there are alternatives to fill the gap. That's right. Dave White of the New York Sea Grant is back, along with CNY Boat Show Manager Drew Wickham, to talk more about what you can do to get ready for your days on the water. Good morning to you both, and uh, Drew, let me start with you. I mean, despite what people may think, it's, it's not the pandemic that's to blame, right, for the uh, for the boat show being canceled? Well, yeah. I, I, Probably a little of a, a pandemic goes with it because it's a it's a supply shortage. Uh, I think it's a matter of both uh, people have flocked to outdoor activities through the pandemic as well as some production uh, shortages along the way as well. It, it's not that our dealers don't have boats. They do have boats. They just don't have the kind of inventory they usually have for us to be able to mount a boat show. So uh, that that's the biggest problem. Yeah, so Dave, there are things that we can do, right? Whether we own a boat now or maybe we hope to own one by summer that we Absolutely. can prepare for the water, right? Absolutely. Good morning to both of you. Great to be with you. I'm ready to go. I don't know about the best. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah, you know, and Drew and I have kidded with a lot of folks about it is, you know, plan your own boat show. If you're around Oneida Lake or you're around one of the Finger Lakes, Lake Ontario, St. Lawrence River, pick one of our great bodies of water, you know, take a day and take the family and like go from dealer to dealer and basically do your own boat show. Um, you can go on the CNY boat show website, it'll list all the dealers and map it out and you can have a great time. Most of them, if not all, have product in the showroom, but they just don't have enough to get it out and, you know, to do a big, you know, exhibit like our, our great friends do with the boat show. So plan your own boat show you can go from a sailboat power boat kayak canoe paddleboard you know and just have a really fun day with the family and uh, sit on some boats check them out the dealers would love to have you in and you can also look at all the great new accessories that you know are coming on board so drew along those lines let me ask you this how many dealers should we be talking to when we're thinking about purchasing a boat you know how many different places should we go and opinions and and prices and i mean you know how, how should we go about this well, Steve, you know, you can go a lot of places, get a lot of different opinions, <laughs> but I, I think you need to focus on uh, what, what type of boat you want, whether it's a pontoon, a runabout, a fishing boat, uh, and then focus in on a couple of brands, look for dealers, uh, try and look for dealers that might be near you, that's always handy, and then uh, uh, set up like Dave says and go visit a couple, three of them, take a look at what their inventory is, what their pricing is, and what they have to offer, and I... Uh, I think it, and quickly you'll begin to figure out what's out there and, and where to go from there. So Drew, to go along with that, my question is, you know, for people maybe who are looking to have a boat by the time summer comes around, is now the time to be looking and buying? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, there is a, there's a shortage of boats, there's a shortage of new boats, a shortage of used boats. Um, there, are, there is inventory out there today. Uh, both new and used at most of our dealers. Uh, but I will tell you that by the time June gets around here and definitely in July, that inventory is going to be very short. Uh, so now is definitely the time to go by and uh, make sure you check things out. Uh, Dave, boating's fun. Safety is always the number one priority, though. I mean, how can not just new boat owners, but, you know, uh, boat owners in general, just how can they benefit from a refresher course and, and where should they go to make sure that they're staying safe this summer? Yeah, absolutely. Now is the time to go online and check out where courses are because, you know, when folks want to take them in March, April, May, a lot of folks are going to be out on the water beginning to protect us, beginning to serve us. So now is the time for the family to take that boating class and all of our good friends, the Power Squadron, Coast Guard Auxiliary, Sheriff, New York State volunteers are setting up their classes. So, you know, it'd be a great opportunity for the family to go. You can do it online, but you know you both know I always talk about it. Um, to do it in person is a great way to do it. Um, and the other thing folks can do is a lot of times, you know, these courses are being taught at dealers or where you can get accessories. So you know you can take that gift card that you know we know our financial people here on you know SYR tell us don't get a gift card. But if you got a gift card for Christmas, now's a great time to take it to those dealers and pick one up. All right. Yeah, yeah. It, you, you wouldn't know it uh, looking outside, but boating season, uh, not that far off. Uh, Dave, Drew, thanks so much for coming on today. We appreciate it. Stay warm. All right. Thank have you. a great day, guys. All have right. a great day. You as well. Yeah. And the uh, 2022 Winter Boat Show, as we mentioned, is canceled, but there are ways that you can hone in on your boating skills and start looking for a boat. To learn more, visit cnywinterboatshow.com.